welcome to the Black American Hebrew Unity Discussion. And brothers and sisters, I ain't going to take up too much of your time, but it looked like there's a great opposition on giving black folk any recognition as being descendants of slaves in this country. They're completely trying to cut us off from our ancestors that they took from Africa. They trying to cut us off from our very history in this country. Okay, so please, you understand this. What does this mean, brothers and sisters? Really, what does all this mean? You know what I mean? H.R. 40 was supposed to, you know, help with identifying, you know, racism against and discrimination against a particular people by the by its government and by its racist counterpart its government so counterparts so they making decisions up there you know like they the argument is how can you blame a present day people for what their ancestors has done to a people and everybody's so fucking lame to the price called propaganda you see what I'm saying where propaganda isn't anything but counter attacking you know your your opposite so to speak they supposed to have been America was supposed to turn this thing into you know a, a you know, into something for black people and to in process of correcting their original sin. You see? Yeah. They're now trying to correct it. So black Americans, African Americans, you know, who are, you know, over here on, you know, you know, on many different, plenty, many different uh, platforms in the United States of America. We so far gone that that whatever take place, it will have to take place down here on ground zero. And it will have to be built on a rock on a solid platform for 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 the preservation of our black american hebrew history in this country for there to be a major major opposition on fulfilling Righteousness. Think, think of the unlimited treasures. Okay, think of the unlimited treasures that comes along with that recognition that they do not want to give black folk. for reasons that the whole world should obviously be able to see. So brothers and sisters, you can continue to sleep on this, man. I'm out here up against it. You know what I'm saying? I'm being discriminated against. You know, just like I was racially profiled the other day by an officer, okay? Who knew my whole situation. You know what I'm saying? And then want to, you know, three strikes and you're out. Is that the law? Three strikes and you're out. 
I thought of you as committing a crime and three strikes is you out. Okay, yeah, I just pulling up in the driveway and the officer pulled up on me, man, and, and, and just pulled the whole, you know, nine over on me. Okay, pulled in parking lot. She said, I'm fine because I'm in my RV. So they saying that it's against the law to stay in your RV. Okay, number one. Okay, number two, the lady knew that I was in the process of finding a place to stay. Okay, there's a statute of limitations on this because I'm in my RV and I'm with a program that's uh, helping me, um, you know, uh, with first and last month's, month's rent to move in. The officer knew this, but she still and all on the third time she made it a, a per made it a perp you know purposely ran into me not crashed literally but just pulled up in front of me as if she was you know a traffic stop in me but she has on the citation it's not a traffic stop right but it's it's a, supposed to be a city code code a city coordinates law that I'm that I'm supposed to be violating that prohibits uh, are people staying in RVs in city limits, in the city, you know, in, in the city, in city limits. Okay, yeah. So this is the third time we ran into each other and she gave me a citation, which is if it was really against the law, it was really her responsibility to give me that same citation the first time we ran into each other. So I'm just proving that it was a racially motivated, uh, uh, um, racially motivated um, uh, stop when it really wasn't a stop because I pulled into the to the parking lot of a uh, of Metro PCS and she made it seem like I was in the in the parking lot of uh of another shopping center which they're all connected but it's obvious if you're pulling in in a certain area what store that you're pulling in to attend and i was pulling in to attend the metro pcs she pulled up in front of me and called on the phone um the 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 other stores property manager i'll pay what you not and made it seem like i was in their parking lot when I wasn't, I was waiting for Metro PCS to open up because I was leaving a, a, a Salvation Army where they serve free breakfast to the to the to the public and to the homeless. And um, so I'm leaving from there, and then when I make it over to you know to the to, to the place, it's around about nine or something because they close. They stop feeding people at eight thirty. They close their door like at eight eight thirty. Okay, so I know I makes it over here eight thirty, and then I don't leave direct. I don't think I leave that quick. But all I know is by the time I make it there, it's around about maybe, and it's you know it's not that far in the vehicle. It's not that far to make it to one location to another. You know what I mean? Walking or driving, but time do run, and I I wasn't directly there. I you know I think I was doing some talking to a couple of people before I left. So that let the time go. So I, all I know is when I looked at my, you know, looked at my uh, time before it, my battery went dead on my phone, it was like 9.13 or something like that, 9.13 or something. Um, you know, because I had walked up to the, the door and seeing that they that Metro PCS opens up at 10. So I'm figuring, okay, I only got like 30, 40, 30 minutes, 35 more minutes. The lady came, you know, the officer came and just just taunted me, finding something to, you know, to, to mess with me about. And then she tried to make it seem like I, I stayed overnight in the parking lot. And, and yeah, but she, but now she's saying she seen me pull in later than eight thirty. She seen me pull in early in the morning. I pay what you not, and I'm sitting here telling everybody right now. Mind you, 
I ate breakfast at the Salvation Army where you have to sign your name, okay, for their food that they distribute. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah. So my presence is accounted for leaving this place, you know, uh, between, you know, 8.30 and 9 o'clock. Okay, she say that I she seen me pull in like at six. And I was there all the way up until I'm telling you, man, it was it was sick. So um I was told that I could order the um the video and see how this woman targeted me and how she racially profiled me and 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 and, 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 and um yeah. Literally, and at the, at the first time she 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 stopped me. She was talking on the phone with 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 her boyfriend. And the second time she stopped me, she was talking on the phone with her boyfriend. As a and 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 and, and, and more worse than that, I seen somebody who was eating, who came to breakfast. Uh, at the Salvation Army, uh, walking by, I knew the guy. You know, I don't know his personal business, um, but you know, I just waved at the guy, and um, she yelled at the top of her lungs at the guy, "Hey, boo dee boo, hello, how you doing?" At the guy, and I and I'm trying to let her know I'm coming from where he's coming from. He ate at. He, he ate breakfast at the same place I ate breakfast from because I'm just trying to show her that she was lying on the fact that, you know, that I wasn't there as she say that I was. Okay, and then on top of that, bringing the guy up, she ended up giving me personal information, confidential information about his personal business. He's eating, you know, he eats here at this place. Right? The Salvation Army. He eats there. Okay? Don't nobody know his personal business. But the, the officer told me that, you know, some personal business about the guy. About, you know, the guy. I don't want to repeat what she said because then that would be, you know, um, you know, even I felt it strange because her being an officer of the law wasn't her responsibility to imply any information about any you know, other citizen, other, you know, citizen to another citizen that doesn't know, that, that she don't know that doesn't know each other, you know, yeah, she don't know that I, she don't know that I know him, but, you know what I mean, still, I know him, and you shouldn't be telling me the type of stuff that you're telling me about this individual, because if you're telling it to me, then what, if, you know, what are you doing, you know, with other people, okay, you know, you telling, you know, you telling it to other people, telling people personal business to other people, so I say all that, brothers and sisters, to say we're, you know, us as black folk, we're trapped in America under racist lending discriminations, racist stereotypical views, and, and just racism, period, where the government itself is giving powers to other nationalities and leaving black folk in a predicament where we have to depend on our very enemies to, you know, to, 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 you know, to be able to make it past, you know, the day, so to speak. People that don't want to help you, but just in a, in a position to help you, but they don't want to help you. You see what I'm saying? But they just in a position to help you. Black folk don't got it like this. We don't. We ain't even. You know, we so trapped in hatred for each other, and and, and, and trapped within the the slavery state of mind of you know uh, separation among each other. This how far gone we are. So I make this video for the brothers and sisters that wants to, you know, come together and, 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 and try to devise a plan 
you know, be a part of a plan for black America, no way. So if you brothers and sisters want to join some form of a, a committee with me, uh, and we can think of a name for it, or uh, we could run with Black American Hebrew Unity, uh, uh, Black American Hebrew Unity, and we'll turn it into a movement. How about that? Okay, uh, Black American, because you can't, you get, you want to wipe us off the face of the map now. So I say Black American because that's how America identifies the Black people as Black American, Black American, African American. And I say Hebrew because, as you see, the Bible itself was tampered with and and they used falsify images you okay of you know of of its uh characters in the book you see what i'm saying so you see how we've been bamboozled you know what i'm saying how you know it's been pulled over our eyes which led to a falling away a great falling away of christianity the real, you know, the real practice of Israel, the real practice as as it's watered down upon the Christianity when it's really the people's culture and tradition that we're not practicing because we feel we don't have that convention and uh, that convention and um, convention and and uh, what. Is, you know, feel that we don't have that responsibility. You see what I'm saying? Not knowing that it's the very relationship that we have with our Father God in which we forget that he exists because we so trapped in hell and racism, many discriminations coming from slavery in which the Congress members now saying that they, you know, basically, they they trying to sweep slavery under the rug. They're trying to say that, that you know, what happened to those people is nobody's responsibility. And there's nobody alive today that can receive compensation for what happened to those people. Nobody, and they, they saying that there's nobody alive today that should be blamed. When you see it, when HR 40 was pushed up into this to pay people to, to get into that paperwork and to show the, the system's underhanded moves, it's been made. That's what HR 40 come to do. Okay? Just like people got a job, they say, okay, John Kyan saying, well, put some money behind this right here. Put some money, you putting money behind everything else. Put some money behind this. Okay, to help black, to help, you know, black, you know, poor people to get, you know, help, you know, from the racism that's going on in their community against the racism and the stereotypical views, just, you know, against the presence of a black, black person. Okay, like everybody that's black is a target for the police. Is everybody black is the target for people that's in the Salvation Army that's claiming to help people that's really not trying to help no one, but help their own, pro, you know, private pro, uh, pocket and things of that nature. It ain't no black Americans working in a lot of them, especially not the one that, that where we going. You see what I'm saying? And put, you know, and we got to pray over the food. You see what I'm saying? Cause, man, people don't even want us coming eating at their Salvation Army. And when you step up to the plate for righteousness, they bat that down. So, okay. So it's like I say, brothers and sisters, y'all can continue to sleep on me, but we heading for doom certain destruction. You know what I mean? Yeah.
So they trying to they took reparations off the board and saying it wouldn't be a good idea and it would it would be harmful. Okay, harmful to who? See where I'm coming from? So that's why I'm telling you, brothers and sisters from New York to the Bay, subscribe to this channel. It's some things, you know. It's some things that God got 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 a way out for us. If y'all could have a, just enough faith, the size of a mustard seed, we can see this little bitty mustard seed grow. And you got to believe. I'm talking to everybody from New York to the Bay, starting with the brothers and sisters subscribing to the channel. You know, that's living, un, you know, under the bridge, living homeless, sleeping in tents. And having depend, having to depend upon, you know, Salvation Army, you know, to eat, to get clothes, you know, that don't even really want to help the colored people out how they supposed to be helped because they figuring, oh, you know, they put you in a state of mind like you just begging and asking for handouts. How the my fuck am I asking and beg, you know, begging for handouts when I don't got shit as it is? And people donate to this place to help people that don't have anything. Just like they trying to say with reparations that they trying to put first. It was an error where they was trying to put over on us that it was handouts. Reparations would not be handouts. It would recognize of black people for being descendants of a people that was brought over here against their will. And there was a whole period where they rode these people like donkeys, okay? Like donkeys, okay? And their ants and their, and their descendants from the slaves that was brought over here being rode like donkeys, building the whole capital, okay? Land, you got to think, land, land, you know, land the railroad tracks, okay? Black folk did the majority of that land and railroad systems, okay? And we created everything that's in here from the light poles, okay, the street lights. Who you think created the street lights? Okay, black folk created them street lights. Who you think created the, the motor to the lawnmower? Okay, black folk, but they that's what we sitting here telling you, brothers. And that's why I'm sitting here telling you, brothers and sisters, all the things that we've done and invented in this country, we're not connected to. And we're not receiving any recognition for our brilliancy. So for you, if you know him, that we're in a fucked up predicament and you know him, man, this is a little enough faith of the size of must see. You should subscribe to this channel knowing that you, your, your stupid ass self, blood, can be a part of a major fucking change for our people. Not just your pussy ass. Not just my motherfucking ass, nigga. Simple shit. Not just me, not just you. Nigga, this is for our children's children's children to come. Because you can look down in that Congress house and they got young, young people, white people, fighting against reparations. Ain't that the descendant? Ain't that the descendants of the slave masters? That's saying, oh, oh reparations would be harmful. Reparations not a good idea, okay? So where's all the descendants of slaves? You see what I'm saying? You see? Sleep. And what's sleep? On drugs. Having to depend upon the system in any way, shape, form, or fashion. And sleep. The system don't even want to help us as it is. And then the time come, they're going to cut us. They're going to cut its assistance off. After we get done casting all our Jews to them, then this, 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 this pigs are going to turn and, and come and, um, and devour us. As they already been doing. So su subscribe to this channel. Let's fucking make some real changes. Let's make some real changes, and, and, and the only real changes that could be made, man, is, is, is changes that's, like Jesus said, building on a rock.
And the only way that you can build anything on a solid platform is down here on ground zero. It's like we can go to these intelligence centers and get food stamps. Okay? Okay, well, we need to get something together, you know, for black folk. Because cause this is not our, just like Jesus said then, and I'm echoing what he's saying then, I'm echoing it now. This this is not my kingdom. This isn't our kingdom. When the police can just pull you over like they want to and give you citations where you where it's disrupting your life, where you have to end up in court. When, you know, that's slavery. To me, it is because you ain't got no reason pulling me over. You ain't, and you're not even pulling me over. I'm coming in the parking lot, and you come, and you know, and this is like ten minutes after I didn't pulled in the parking lot. This lady come right in behind me, fucking with me, finding something to put me in her back seat. When she see that I'm on to what she trying to do, ar- arouse my anger. Where I, I, you know, where I smack her ass, I make a, I make an attempt for her weapon, and where is that going? That's what the system wants to do. Is either way it goes, it's two birds with one stone. You see what I'm saying? Either way it goes, where they want black folk killing each other, but now they want black folk that's tired and just, 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 just fed up with the racism. They want us slashing out. See what I'm saying? That lady, you know, came in messing with me and then give me, you know, then give me a citation on top of that where I now have to appear in court for staying in my RV when she already knows that I'm with a program that's helping me get out of my RV into my own place in the in the, in, in the city where I am. She understands this. And it hurts me because she's the one that referred me to the place that can help pay first and last month's rent of moving into a place. So you knowing that I'm on my way of getting myself together, getting out of the RV and so on and so forth to appease to whatever this law is. And me myself hasn't even seen paperwork on the law. And when she wrote up the, 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 um, the, the, um, when she wrote up, the what you call it, the, the code, I looked it up, and it don't got nothing to do with RVs. Like some messianic shit. Like only somebody that's in there going to fucking know. The only thing, I looked up those codes, and they all got to do with fences and shit like that. It don't got, literally, gates, all that shit. It don't got nothing to do with no nothing that she wrote that shit up as nothing to do with that so you got me going out of my time going to court on some shit that don't even you got me up on her that don't even apply to me i play with you not so i'm just using i told y'all i'm i'm pushed up into this by our father so i'm using my life as a spectacle because i figure if i'm going through it how many other brothers and sisters that's you know that's out there that feel like they're alone and that's going through it. And that's how the system have us where we don't have no intelligence centers where, where we can go to and get help and support by. We have to depend on people that hates our guts to help us. Literally wants to, you know, kill us. And if they could find a way to do it, they would. Literally. So black folk, we need to mount up some way, shape, form, or fashion. And when it's enough of us, then we can come together and register our presence, okay, as a nationality of people from when we from where we came from as slaves up until our our us waking up as Hebrew. That's what? Black American Hebrew. That's a nationality. And and, and, and I'm going to push it. If 
I could get enough brothers on my team, enough brothers and sisters, then we can wake up into our natural nationality as black American Hebrews, then that's what I'm doing. Because you, because this, 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 this beast is never going to let up and it's going to continue to feed, feed, feed off the black carcass. We need to really mount up, come together down here on ground zero. So I'm starting with me, brothers and sisters from New York to the bank. If you want to join with me in awakening up the black carcass and where we can be able to stand past an attack to get ourselves together and prepare for a nuclear strike. Then please. Come to the channel, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments. Let me get on board with you, brothers and sisters, and where we can all work at freeing up our freeing up our history and moving toward the future without having to suffer up under these stereo racist, stereotypical views these people is dangling over us.